Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today I'm going to discuss popular medications for erectile dysfunctions, the pros, the cons, and important health warnings. And I'll quickly cover how they work and how you can make them work better, and lastly, natural alternatives. So the first type of drug I'll discuss are also happens to be one of the most popular, and these are called PDE5 inhibitors, such as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra. Now simply stated, these drugs work by relaxing your muscles and boosting blood flow to your penis, making erections easier to get and maintain. And they also work by increasing nitric oxide levels. Now the main difference between these three drugs is the half-life, which is basically how quickly these drugs work and stop working. Now Viagra works the fastest in about 30 minutes and lasts about four hours, while Cialis is the slowest, taking about an hour or two to start working, but then lasts about two days, thus known as the weekender pill. Of course, as popular as these drugs are, there are some negatives. And the biggest problem with these drugs is that they do nothing for improving your sex drive and libido. Taking these drugs alone will not cause an erection that must be taken in combination with some form of sexual stimulation. Now, another common problem with these drugs is side effects such as low blood pressure, which incidentally is the original reason these drugs were made. In fact, the erections are a side benefit of these drugs. Now, there are other problems such as vision problems, sinus, and headaches. Now, lastly, the lower your testosterone levels, which is your primary sex drive hormone, the less effective these drugs are. In fact, this is the primary reason they don't work in about 25% of users, especially older guys who need it the most because they typically have lower testosterone levels. However, there is a way to make these drugs work better, and I'll show you how in a minute. Now, the next drug I like to discuss is also one of the least popular, and that's injections into your penis. Now, a typical one is Cabreject, which is a prostaglandulin. Now, similar to the PDE5 drugs, the shot increases blood flow to your penis, and the results are instant, and you do not need any kind of arousal for your penis to get hard. Unfortunately, not too many guys want to, you know, put a needle into their penis. And if you don't do it right or correctly or take too much, your erection will just not go away for a long time and can actually cause tissue damage. Now, this type of drug is best used when nothing else has worked. And typically for guys who also have blood vessel problems and blood flow problems. And finally, we have my personal favorite and the healthiest and most long-term and permanent solution to erectile dysfunction, and that's increasing your testosterone levels. Now, the main benefit here, and as stated earlier, is that testosterone is your primary libido hormone, all right, in both men and women. It improves both your physical and emotional sex drive. The higher testosterone levels also improves blood flow and nitric oxide levels, similar to drugs like Viagra. Also, higher testosterone levels reduces many diseases, such as heart disease, diabetes, and so forth, and also cancer. And yes, testosterone reduces cancer. It's the higher estrogen levels that cause cancer in both men and women. And if you want to look and feel younger, testosterone is the primary way to do it. Okay, so how do we increase your testosterone levels? Well, there's two ways to do this. Um, the first is exogenously, which means from external factors, such as testosterone injections, creams, pellets, and pills. And the problem here is that, you know, there's a lot of factors that need to be controlled. Primarily, the negative conversions of testosterone to the female hormone estrogen, which means, you know, man boobs and body fat and cancer. And the second negative conversion is testosterone to DHT, also known as dihydrotestosterone. And this is the hair loss and prostate cancer hormone. Now, both of these require additional drugs to be taken with your testosterone. Unfortunately, 99% of doctors are clueless about the endocrine and hormonal system, and thus taking testosterone by itself will end up causing more harm than good in the long run. Lastly, keep in mind that this is a lifelong commitment. You can't take testosterone sometimes. It's all or nothing for the rest of your life. Oh, one other negative side effect. Your testicles will shrink typically. But don't worry, it does nothing. Uh, nothing bad happens to your penis. Now, the second way to increase your testosterone is endogenously, which means from internal factors. 
And this is done through eating specific foods, um, doing certain exercise, and taking special herbs, vitamins, and minerals. Now, this is the best way to increase your testosterone because it's natural, it's totally safe, and it's a nice long-term solution. There's no needles, no prescriptions, and it ends up being much cheaper. Truth is, this is where you should start before doing anything else. Now, one other cool benefit, higher testosterone levels makes drugs like Viagra and Cialis work much better, and thus you can use a lower dose of these drugs too. Anyway, today's topic is about ED medications, and thus I'm going to end it here. Uh, I do have another bonus video about this and how you can improve your testosterone levels naturally, and you can find the link below uh, this video today. Well, that's it for today. I hope you have more clarity uh, about this topic. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel because I've got some really cool exclusive videos coming out soon. If you found it helpful, please share the health with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your comments below and any questions you may have about today's topic or future ones. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor. Make sure you take a look at the exclusive bonus video below. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.